The Palace Theatre stands on the junction of Prince of Wales Road and High Street, Swansea. Originally built in 1888 as a traditional music hall, the building was known as the Pavilion from 1883 to 1892, the Empire from 1892 to 1900, and then as the Palace in 1900 after a takeover by William Cout. From 1912 it was known as the People's Bioscope Palace, bioscope being an early term for moving picture technology. In the early years of the 20th century, stars such as Lily Langtree, Marie Lloyd and Dan Leno filled the venue. In 1896 Charlie Chaplin performed at the palace when he was 10 years old. In the 1920s and 30s the venue started holding live theatre events, before shifting into film from the 1930s to 1950s. The building is one of just two purpose-built music halls left standing in the whole of the UK, and was the first place in Wales to show a silent picture, it remained undamaged by the blitz that destroyed much of Swansea city centre during the Second World War. Sir Anthony Hopkins made his first professional stage appearance there in 1960 with Swansea Little Theatre's production of Have a Cigarette. Morecambe and Wise performed at the venue in the 1960s, and Ken Dodd was the last stand-up comedian to appear there before it became a nightclub in the 1970s. The venue later operated as a bingo hall, and as a private gay club. The ground floor bar and lounge was also used as a licensed pub for many years, before closing in 2006. Eventually the theatre was sold for £300,000 to a property company, but in 2010 it was still derelict and actor Edward Fox joined a campaign to have it restored. The theatre's trust warned that the building may fall down if it did not receive any investment. In April 2014 Swansea Council made £75,000 available to the owners to carry out work on the High Street Theatre, which had been named as one of the ten most endangered Victorian and Edwardian buildings in England and Wales. The Victorian Society called it a victim of urban decay. The council funds were earmarked for emergency works, including making the building watertight, removing vegetation and removing loose brickwork that could be deemed unsafe. The theatre's trust said it remained in a poor state of repair and extremely vulnerable, although developments provided hope that a viable solution, which includes community use and preserves the main body of the auditorium, could be found. In late 2019 and early 2020 a plan emerged to save the former theatre, which would see it transformed into offices with community and performance space provided. As of 12 February 2020, interior surveys have been carried out.